And Steve, last night, Texas Republican Maida Flores was able to flip a House seat in a special election. The Houston Chronicle reporting she'll be the first Mexican-born congresswoman. Significant. This is extremely significant. Here's the results here. Again, we're talking about South Texas going down to the Rio Grande Valley. Now, this is a congressional district that's actually, it's a special election. The lines for the di this district are all going to change at the end of the year. So what she was elected to was a term that will only run for a few months. She's going to run in a different district this November. But... This speaks to a story we've been talking about since the 2020 election, specifically along the border, the Rio Grande Valley, South Texas. We have seen county after county, whether it's in this district or some of the districts to the west of it, where voters have moved 10, 20, 30, 40 points away from the Democrats and toward the Republicans. This district that Myra Flores won last night, Barack Obama got more than 60 percent of the vote here when he last ran in 2012. Hillary Clinton won this district by 22 points. Points. It's shifted that dramatically. Joe Biden carried it by four in 2020. And now in a special election, a Republican candidate has won it outright. We've seen shifts like this throughout South Texas. This, by the way, is the second most heavily Hispanic congressional district in the United States. We've talked about the potential shift among Hispanic voters. We certainly saw it in 2020. The question has been, would we see it in 2022? I think this result we got from Texas 34 last night definitely underscores the Hispanic vote could be up for grabs this fall in ways we haven't seen in a long time. It's like an 85 plus percent uh, Latino district, right, Steve? Yeah, I think this is the second uh, highest in the country. Yeah. Steve Kornacki, thank you so very much. Appreciate it.